When a rally is brought to an end by the second referee, the sequence will begin with the whistle followed by the infraction first and then awarding of the point second. The first referee will only mirror the awarding of the point. When a rally is brought to an end by the second referee, the sequence will begin with the whistle followed by the infraction first and then awarding of the point second. The first referee will only mirror the awarding of the point. However, since this is a net foul, there is an additional component to the sequence. The second referee, after blowing the whistle and indicating that there's a net foul, will identify the player who has committed the net foul infraction before awarding the point. In college and high school, the second referee will give a number. In USAV or men's college, the referee will st simply extend his hand out to the player who has committed the infraction. When a rally is brought to an end by the second referee, the sequence will begin with the whistle followed by the infraction first and then awarding of the point second. The first referee will only mirror the awarding of the point. At the conclusion of this rally, you will see that the second referee does an excellent job of scanning both benches for repair replacements, substitutions, or requests for timeouts. As you can see, the team on the right is requesting a timeout. Second referee gives a timeout signal and points toward the bench of the team requesting the timeout. Following the second referee's indication of the team requesting the timeout, the second referee will indicate to the first referee how many timeouts each team has used. 